In this video, I'm going to share with you step by step how to replace the accelerator cable on Bobcat when working on Bobcat S205. Depends from the model, can be slight different variations. As you can see, at the injection pump, I'm pulling the cable and I can accelerate and wrap up my engine. But the problem is, we cannot control our acceleration from the cab. I'm pulling the accelerator leverage and nothing's changed. That is a problem, we're going to get it fixed right now and just follow me step by step. There is a three areas where we need to work. We need to lift the cap, work inside the engine compartment, under the cap and in the cap. Okay, let's get to the back and let's get begin. Welcome to the channel. If you're first time, please subscribe and click the notification bell. You won't miss any videos. Here we go. There's our engine, there's a Kubota. We're starting at the injection pump and there's our cable attached to the bracket and the pump itself and as you can see cable is going all the way through the rubber bushing through the wall and inside under the cap straight to the accelerator leverage inside the cap there's a few things to pay attention to we'll get there and we're starting at the bracket under those two bolts one of this on the side of the bracket remove that one and one is on the bottom we need to get access to the adjustment nuts at the bottom of the cable we need to loose them to be able to remove the cable undo the cable from the leverage as well at the pump we already disconnect that part loose those two nuts and pull the cable out from the bracket here we go remove all those nuts and uh, rubber boots everything was, will be on our way and all, at end of the cable I removed as well and this is just only cable itself left and no any nuts or boots on it okay see I pried the rubber spacer bushing to get my cable slide freely and now we're going inside the cap I need to get few things done before we can lift the cap up and get to the second step okay there's a couple bolts holding the bracket we need to remove that pay attention to the location of that spacer I just mark it then it will be easy to put everything back in place okay undo those two there you go very easy yeah if you have some questions and something is not clear yeah ask down in the comments below and sorry guys for the camera work it's pretty poor quality I know I tried my best but it was hard to mount the camera and with one hand mostly film and doing things okay there is a undo the leverage from the end of the cable and the cab. You just pry it out, it will pop. There is a bolt joint at the connection. Very easy. Same as any little shock mount on your hood or on a trunk. You can undo that part. Screw that little end out. And as you can see, the cable is there no worries about dropping it won't go any far undo the nut and also remove that rubber boot we just wanted to remove all those parts and it will be easier for us and actually you can even leave them if you want at least you you will need them for put on new cable because new cable came without those parts Okay, I need to disconnect the electrical for the windshield wiper, uh, pull, pull the door up and remove the door because that way we need to get access to the other two bolts and before we can lift the cab. Okay, we're removing the door. The door is removed and at each corner on the front, on the bottom as you can see, there is a two, two nuts. We need to remove those two nuts and that will allow us to lift the cab up and get access under the cab 
There's one on the right and another is on the left. Okay, our door removed, everything's disconnected and we remove those two nuts and now just lift the cap up and tilt it back like so it will come up. Yeah, if you don't know exactly how to do it, always look in your owner's manual, there is a very clear thing. Okay, here's our perfect view, everything what's underneath. Put on a safety support latch over here, make sure it's engaged. And also for your safety, put a 2x4 or block of wood, make sure it won't fall on you while you're working. Here we go, there's all our components. Undo the small bracket which is holding the cable to the uh, frame of the machine. Very simple. Disconnect and do that one. Just uh, one bolt. I would like to cover all the details, make sure I'm not missing. Okay, your comfort is first. It's not much fun to lay down on those uh, pipes and hoses. Tubes is pretty sharp. Okay, there's a bottom bracket at the accelerator leverage and there is a cable. See the slot? Here we go. This is what's happened. Our cable snapped from the crimp and it's separated. And now, as you can see, it's bent. It's why we couldn't accelerate it because it didn't, didn't allow to move the cable inside the sleeve and it popped out of the sleeve and the crimp got loose. And that's what happened. Cable failed. Seems like it's original cable and it's lots of hours on the Bobcat. It's over 5,000 hours, I think. Okay, there is a two bolts. Pay attention to that. Remove uh, one bolt. But before we will do removing bolts, we need to do that hydraulic line, clean all that debris, all dust and dirt, and make sure everything's clean. Place the rag or paper towel underneath, make sure nothing will get spilled because a little bit of hydraulic oil will come out. Undo only upper connection for that hydraulic line. You don't need to disconnect the bottom. and. There's a socket with some electrical tape inside. You can reach the bolt with a 3 8 ratchet and the socket at the end. Okay, there's a first bolt from if we're looking from the back of the machine, we are removed. And second one, we just need to get loose, get loose uh, half a threads and don't take the bracket because we will have a really hard time to put it back. Just make it loose and enough room to get the cable out from the bracket. As you can see, one bolt removed, one bolt loose, like one half, three quarters of the way. And now I can wiggle my cable and pull it out. Push it with a long screwdriver or pry bar and get the cable free from the bracket. Yeah, keep a bracket in place. That will make your life easy during the installation otherwise you will end it with a problem to place the bracket it's really tight there's not much room and it's so hard to get there with the fingers okay cable is out this is most of the like hardest part to do the rest of the pretty simple you see that band and where the that end tube popped from the crimp crimp got loose and cable got bent and yeah there's no much you can do about it, just to put a new cable or that one's can be fixed later but time is most important time is the greatest value it's decreasing over time and no reason to spend time if that cable will fail again just put a new one okay see that my ratchet and extension is still there and i removed only one bolt this is a little tip Otherwise, we will spend more time doing that. Here we go, we we'll undo that one side, another side, and we just to freely pull in the cable from the machine. See, cable came out, nice and easy. Not such a big deal if you know how to do it. And uh, yeah, good cable, but not good to go anymore. 
Okay, here's the original part from Bobcat. There's a part number. Uh, some people call it a throttle cable. As you know, it's not correct uh, name because diesel they don't have throttle bodies. But some people, if you go on Amazon or Google, you see it like they can name it as like a throttle body cable for Bobcat. It's not. It's accelerated cable, control cable for acceleration. And compare your new cable to the old one. Make sure the same length and same cable. Here we go, now we're starting our installation process. Just keep watching because it will cover important parts, how to adjust the cable. That's important to know. Make sure you will have the proper acceleration. See, I placed the cable in the bracket. It's the second slot from the bottom. As you can see, my ratchet with the socket still on that bolt. Start as soon as you're cable got into that slot and you also need to match the notch on a cable there's like a little groove and place it there with the slot on the bracket okay and there's another little bracket to attach same as we removed pretty much straightforward and there's our ends i put all those parts back from the old cable that are all transfer to the new cable. I screw the head of the cable all the way down and run the nut straight to that and tie the nut and just place that head all the way down on a cable threads and tie it. We don't need to do any adjustments on this side, just through it that head all the way back. Okay, and there we're putting our accelerator leverage back in place. There's our spacer bracket, and those are two Allen's are adjustments for the movement of the accelerator leverage, how far you can accelerate it back and forth. But those adjustments are kind of not primary, just keep them as it was. We don't need to worry about that. Most of the things is at the injection pump. We have our accelerator leverage placed all the way down to the lower throttle at the turtle side and now we're going to the back and do the final adjustment at the pump. Okay, as you can see, number one, the place the cable all the way down into the bracket and screw those nuts down. And then you move the fuel pump leverage all the way forward and see how far cable is reaching, then you adjust the head make sure it's reaching all the way and you push the leverage forward at the cap and the cable will push the leverage on the fuel pump and that injection pump will supply more fuel into the engine and will rev it up and accelerate it then as you can see number two that's had you adjusted accordingly how far your leverage can move to the maximum and then you tie the lock nut okay and number three it's showing the way you push the or actually you pull the cable by hand and that's adjustments will be good but as you can see if you place the nuts number one at the bottom of the cable in that position that you won't do my need to do much adjustments at the two okay should be good and let's check the result. Pull the pillow out. We don't need it anymore. Take that 2x4 out as well. And load down the cab. Thank you guys. Appreciated your time watching. If you have some suggestions or comments or questions, please feel confident and free to ask down in the comment section below. Very appreciated that. And I tried my best and if it, this video will have it, at least one person that will be awesome and great. Let's check it out. Okay, let's fire it up. Engine is running and that's a fruit of our work. Okay, now I'm pushing it all the way forward, accelerate it and you can see that rev. Now it's working all the way back and you can go straight to the, like back to the pump and see how it's moving and as you can hear it it's revving to the max 
and what you can do later final adjustment at the head of the cable on the pump side you can see nice beauty we put everything back together and tie that knot and yeah, I can check a few more times if you like tie that guy yeah, we need to put that bracket tie those two knots lock them in place and good to go that's uh, took us well, that, this job took us 30 minutes on the video is uh, way less and uh, yeah probably more a little bit more than that but more preps thank you so much guys for watching if you would like to support my small hobby youtube channel please go and watch more videos and don't forget to subscribe special thanks for that stay safe more operation less time breaking down and let's learn something every day new okay take care stay safe see you soon have a good day bye bye